Spiel Essen is coming up in October and they have a huge list of games coming out. And so I took a look through a bunch of them and I've picked out my top 10 favorite mechanics that we're going to see at Essen. So let's dive into this with number 10. I made a little geek list for this. You can comment it on later. The first one up is Takanoko Color. Now this is using pencils instead of dice for you rolling. So this isn't anything too new. I've seen it on printed pencils. However, this one is actually more of a kind of like a, a sleeve that you can put on the pencil. That so then you know once your pencil runs out, you don't have to go find a new special pencil for your game. Uh, but this is a roll and write. We'll give that one to check out when we get to Essence soon. Up here at number nine from our friends over at Grand Gamers Guilds is the Fog Escape from Paradise. In this, one, there is a 3D cardboard piece that gradually moves up and up and up and up the beach, uh, eliminating pieces from the board. I thought that was a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, so I want to give that a check out as well. In here at number eight is Black Forest. This is another Uwe Reisenberg game. And he's brought back the general resource wheel mechanic that he had in Glass Road. And so anytime that you want to move up a resource, you end up having to take down a resource on a different spot of the board. I really like that mechanic. Um, not necessarily innovative, but I like to see that it's being brought back. In here at number seven is Galileo Galilee. This game has a telescope that you point for your action selection. So I thought that was really cool. It's just really kind of neat and thematic. And so when you point it at an action spot, there is a permanent action that can happen there, as well as there is an action that is going to rotate like a rondelle each round. So there's kind of a double action thing going on there. I think that's pretty cool. I want to give that a check out. From Maj, number six. This is a cool game about aging cheese, and you actually age the cheese by rotating the board, similar to Sulkin when you rotated the gears around. Every time you do that, you get a new uh, wedge of cheese slice that you can place actions onto. And then as far as I know, you take an action off your other spot and you get more stuff for that. So that's another cool kind of thing, especially because the entire board is going to rotate. So that's pretty neat. Coming in at number five is Intarsia. Michael Keesing's kind of spiritual successor, I guess, to Azul. This is another game similar to Azul where you are collecting, uh, you're going to be collecting cards and exchange them for tile pieces. What's really cool here though is that those tile pieces are these beautiful wooden components that actually sit with inside of each other to actually create this parquet wooden floor that you're creating in Antarsia. So I definitely want to get my hands on that one. There is a pre-order I might uh, submit for. Coming in at number four is Windmill Valley. This is another one that's taken on that gears mechanic like it was in Sulkin. This sun though instead is a two pieces of the water parts of a windmill that was really cool. And so depending on how much water you let into the floodgates is how fast those windmills are going to spin. And when they spin, those are the actions that you can do. And additionally, you can also purchase upgrades to put on that action spot as well. So I, I like that kind of mechanic where you kind of can build your own, I guess, engine, you could say, uh, with your actions themselves. Coming in at number three is Algae Incorporated by Game Brewer. Unfortunately, Game Brewer is going out of business. Let's give them as much support as we can. However, this game looks really cool. You're building out a factory that's gonna process algae and it has conveyor belts that the algae is gonna go across. But instead of just like a simple game where you can just go right across, this one has ability to go back and forth and side to side and up and down, a bunch of different ways with your different conveyor belts, depending on how you have built out your factory. So I'd like to give that a try. Coming in at number two from AEG is Undergrove. Undergrove is a game about growing your trees by supporting the mushrooms around you. And so what's neat in this one is there is a tile board of mushrooms, and then you're gonna plant seedlings inside of that middle part of the tile. And you know, normally when you place something down in that four by four type of grid inside something, it's like, oh, you can take one of those four actions. But in this one, you actually then also plant roots. These roots are this cool little triangle wedge that point out and mushroom that it's pointing to is actually what you'll end up being taking for action. So I think that's really cool. And coming in at number one, the Spiel de Jar winner of the year is Sky Team. This one has so many moving parts. It's a dice cooperative dice game where you're trying to land a plane. And there's so many different mechanics in here, all of which I found pretty new and cool. So there's the rotation of the airplane. There is how fast you're going. So you can speed up uh, the plane and there is your braking. And so then there is the calling on the radio to try and clear out the runway before you manage to get closer to the runway. Uh, and then there's just the regular game timer in itself, uh, which is just nice and thematic, nothing special there. This has been my top 10 mechanics uh, that I want to that I'm going to see here at Essen. 
let me know what you think of these and what you are excited for at Essen. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. I have a couple more geek lists that I've put together for Essen that I want to get out as well. as I want to hopefully review all of these games eventually too. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.